Hey guys, Brooke here, and I want to talk to y'all about markers and how to use them in your photography. All right, so I know, a little weird, definitely outside of the box, but it is a really easy and fun way to add a little bit of flair to your photos without the price tag of some of those more expensive prisms. And best of all, you get to pick your colors. So I like to choose warmer tones just because I feel like warm tones look better on the skin. It better emulates like the light that would actually be happening from flares and haze from the sun. You can put blue or green with that. That's what make you, makes you happy. I don't care. But just select yourself like one, two, three, however many markers you want or can manage, and then find yourself an area with good natural light. Next, your settings choices. So your ISO, I don't care. I stick to native ISOs, you do you. Your shutter speed, you probably don't want motion blur, but again, up to you. Last but not least, the aperture. Aperture does matter in this case. Um, you wanna pick yourself a nice wide open aperture. I shoot wide open in this case when I'm using these, but pick something that you're comfortable with that you can still manage to keep your subject and focus in. The most important part is that you're not shooting at like F22 or something crazy like that. The higher the aperture is, the higher the f-stop, the more detail of the shape of the marker you will get from it. So you wanna make sure that it is like nice and soft and very blobby glow and not like marker in your frame, right? And that's literally all there is to it. You can use it to hide objects in your background. You can use it to emphasize haze and flares from the sun already, or you can create it where it doesn't exist. The world is your oyster all with just a pack of $1.50 markers.